so it's your girl April and this is going to be a really quick introduction to some hair from AliExpress. This is from a vendor called Sugar Virgin Hair. So this is super sweet Sugar Virgin Hair. The hair that I have on is actually from IMI which is a sister company to Lily Hair Beauty which is also another vendor on AliExpress. So let's get started with what's in this actual DHL package. So the first things first is I do have like these weird looking flexi rods that hold together with some type of Velcro. Um, the young lady on the packaging makes it look super simple so um, I'm not really sure if I'll give it a try but I will add it to my collection so this is their natural straight hair and it is in four bundles two 22s two 20s and a 16 inch closure now mind you I cannot remember if this was Malaysian um, Brazilian Peruvian what have you I can't remember but I will put the information for you girls below so that you will know so this one here is the 20 inch natural straight and they also have their bags labeled so you know what you're getting. Their hair is also clipped with the plastic things which I like a lot better because I hate to have to unravel those things. Now the first thing that I'm noticing about this hair is it is very very smooth and straight. No foul odor. It just has this look where it, it just was not dyed. It just looks authentic. Very, very healthy. The ends are super healthy and thin. I mean thick, excuse me. But the hair is very lustrous and very soft. As well as that as the bearding is like absolutely gorgeous. Like, wow. Yeah. Now I'm trying to see if it, it, it is a double wefted track, which is a good thing, but the hair is so smooth. Like I've gotten straight hair where it was nice, it was coiled together tight, no biggie, but with this one it came out a lot smoother. It just looks a lot neater, more professional, and just very good quality hair. And it just looks like it's very, 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 very good hair. And that's all I can say. It's really good hair though. And I like the fact that it doesn't have a smell to it. It's no foul odor, which is also really, really important to me. Okay. Now, let's go on to this actual closure, which is supposed to be 16 inches. But from the way it's looking, it looks like it's 18. This is a long ass closure. Now, the closure is more of a less a light color, which is fine because, you know me, I'm light skin. So, it doesn't stretch. A lot of closures that have reinforced size, I've noticed, have a little stretch to them. It has a little bit of stretch, but not as much stretch as I've noticed. But neither here nor there, the hair quality is exactly the same as on the actual bundles. Now, as for the knots... The hair is thin when it was ventilated, which is good because don't nobody want to walk around looking like a pregnant, um, swollen knothead. Um, also, I am going to put my flat iron on this um, before I make it because I've had an issue with another vendor, which I will be doing a video about because I wasted my time making this whole entire wig and then I went to flat iron the closure once it was made you know you can do that you put the you put the flat iron you put your lace wig between your flat iron and flatten it out that always works it's fine well when I did this the damn thing melted so yeah I've never had a closure ever ever melt on me like that I was so upset so 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 upset but either here nor there this is like some really good quality hair the same thing goes, it does not have a smell or odor, but there's always a little test that you can do, which I will be doing. Um, but yeah, so Sugar Virgin Hair is a vendor on AliExpress, which I will post their information below. And the hair, like I said, was four bundles, two 22s, two 20s, and a 60-inch closure. I wanted to make a bob wig with the last straight one that I made, but unfortunately the damn closure melted, so that won't be happening. And so let's get on to the continued video. Alright my love, so I'm done with this unit from Sugar Virgin Hair, which is their straight hair. I went ahead and did some wand curls in this baby. It was so straight, but the hair was super soft as well. But, you know, I'm really trying not to cut so many layers in the hair um, when I make the units because I just really don't want to take away from the hair. But let's get into the specifications of this unit before I start rambling on. First of all, I did make a middle part and I tweezed a middle part just to make it look a little bit more natural and realistic. And I did add some concealer on it ahead of time. This concealer is lighter 
but I like to make the lace a little bit lighter and then I'll go ahead and add a concealer that's more come on, more my complexion. It is sewn on a mesh dome spandex cap. There are four combs sewn into the unit. Now, one thing that's really important, a lot of people I've noticed, when you do a wig review or a hair review, you really do need to wash the hair prior to doing the review. Um, so what I do is I wash the hair once I've created the unit. I'm not going to put on a wig that I've made with hair that was just sent to me not washed, not cleansed. Because for one, you cannot tell the luster and the actual hair texture until you actually wash it. So washing it is the best thing. If you want to make a wig and you don't want to wash it prior, then by all means you don't have to, but make sure you wash it after. If you're getting an install into your natural hair, then I highly suggest washing the bundles prior to having it installed in your own natural hair. That's just really important. But I really do think that it's beneficial when you're doing a review and you made a wig to make sure that you've washed the hair, either install or not, you need to wash the hair because the hair texture kind of changes, the appearance changes, the luster changes, the fibers change, it doesn't have like that process coating on it or whatever chemicals or conditioner that they've used in it or whatever they've had on the hair sitting around in the factory. So I never ever do a rig review or a hair review without washing the hair because I I just don't think that it looks natural. I really don't want anything dirty on my head like that. So I always make sure to condition, co-wash the hair, and make sure that it's cleansed. And that way you see it's natural beauty. So like I said, I went ahead and I put some wand curls in this. And I love that wand curl 8-in-1 system by Irresistible Me, which is the Sapphire um, collection. I will post that information for you girls below. But other than that, the hair didn't give me any problems. A little shedding as normal. Nothing major but a little shedding no melting closure no um processed hair like it's not processed at all it's actually virgin hair and it came out so pretty like the curls are super duper pretty and bouncy which makes the hair full just like really really full because I didn't want to cut any layers in it so it is the four entire bundles I was going to wear it just sleek straight and leave it but I decided to do a little bit of style to it. So let's get on to this video, y'all, because I have my hair, my leave out already prepared, and all I need is just that little bit. Now isn't she gorgeous like for it to be straight hair she came out so pretty like this hair is absolutely gorgeous like I love it love it love it it came out so pretty and what a difference a curler will make this was actually the bubble curler with the 8-in-1 curling set so if you want to see a tutorial on how I got these curls and how I do it 
then just leave your comment below and I'll be more than happy to show you girls. But I absolutely love the Sapphire Curling Wand System. You can get all these different kind of curls and you would never think that the hair was so full like this. You don't have to cut it. You don't have to layer it. You can just go ahead and use certain type of curlers and it gives you so much body. So when it was straight, of course it was much flatter and it was just sleek. It was still so pretty and it was a little bit longer but the curls did take away some of the length but they will fall over time. All I did was spray a little bit of hairspray in this after. I didn't spray it prior. I didn't put any mousse in it. I just sprayed it, um, excuse me, I just curled it on clean hair. And that was it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have to do anything extra. And I just sprayed a little bit of hairspray at the end. But because of the type of curls, they're not going to fall like that. Opposed to like regular hot curls or what have you. Certain type of curls do not fall. So this curls, or these curl gave this hair so much body and so much style and appeal. So that that's what makes the huge difference. You can get some really inexpensive hair and make it look like you just like walked out of somewhere really, really, you know what I'm saying high maintenance. Now as for the part you girls know I love my part to look as natural as possible and I do have a video tutorial on how I do a curved part and tweeze it to make it look natural. I've already recorded that as requested so I will be getting that up for you ladies really really soon. But other than that yes this hair from Sugar Virgin Hair is fantabulous. It's amazing and so pretty and I'm really liking it. I like the way I did the middle part. I don't really do the middle parts too much but for the most part I do like it. So, on that note, if you want to check their website out, which is Ally Express, I will post all their information for you girls below. And if you want a custom wig made by yours truly or you're interested in an in-stock unit, you can always hit me up or check out my website at goingwiththewindwigs.webly.com. And so, let me know what you think, and I will see you girls on my next video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.